Okay, welcome back to the next session. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the role of mechanical engineering in industry and society. Okay, so in industry and society, how mechanical engineers are going to play a key role. Okay, so in industry and society, mechanical engineers are going to play a very, very crucial role. Why? Because without the help of mechanical, mechanical engineer, definitely the society is incomplete. Okay. So in such cases, so in the in order to see, in order to meet such kind of requirements, definitely mechanical engineers has to play a vital role. Okay. First one, we can see what is mechanical engineering and how they are going to deliver their how they are going to deliver their uh, content to the society. So first one is see mechanical engineers are is defined as the branch of engineering that deals with the design. So first thing is design, very very important. Okay each and every product if you want to manufacture or each and everything if you want to do anything definitely design is very very important without the help of design we can't go further okay so mechanical engineers are going to design first okay so in previously they used to take a paper a pen so whatever they want to design they are going to write or they, they used to draw with the help of drafter or scale or with the help of pencil everything they used to do on their own so after designing only they are going to develop so without designing they, you can't go further each and every product in this world in this universe everything if you want to do anything first of all you have to design without design you can't go further that's it so in such cases so design is going to play a key role there after development so after designing only we are going to develop whether that is a product or, or anything, either any kind of plan. So if you want to go anywhere, definitely you need to have some kind of plan. So everything you have to develop after designing only. Afterwards, construction. So most probably, so this kind of construction we are going to use in civil engineering also. And in mechanical also construction, if you want to construct a machine, definitely how the machine part should be and what are the considerations for a machine. Definitely they have to take construction step also. And finally, the operation. So once the construction is over, finally it has to operate. For example, let us say there is a vehicle. So before vehicle, before uh, before going to manufacture a vehicle, definitely the design should be probably the best one. With the help of the design only, we are going to develop. Okay, that is the development, second stage. Third one is construction. So afterwards, uh, whatever the vehicle we have been developed, so there are, thereafter we, have, we are going to use some shock observers, we are going to use engine, clutch, gear, everything. Finally, we are going to operate with the help of fuel. So once the fuel is poured into the tank, fuel tank, so whenever we are going to serve the engine, so definitely it has to operate. So that is the main one. If it is not getting operated, means that there is a probably there is a huge loss in design. That is the design is not proper one. Even though the development is good, the design is not a proper one. So most probably each and every mechanical engineer has to focus on design sector. Okay. So that is very very important. Okay. In the next slide, we can see. Mechanical engineering plays a crucial role in shaping the technology and infrastructure that drive out our modern world. So in the world, as previously I said, in the modern world, whatever the things are occurring, each and everything has to be designed by a mechanical engineer only. No other engineers comes in this role. Thereafter, other engineers play a key role in modifying each and everything. Okay, without designing, you can't go further. Second one is, for society, they do design. Again, they do design develop build and test so again this kind of uh, terminology we can see here also in this uh, slide also test mechanical systems and dev devices again so these kind of things we are going to see with the help of uh, things like design develop build and test mechanical systems and devices so that is the role of a mechanical engineering so all these kind of scenarios has to be done by him only for industries and sectors, they create technologies to meet human needs. So most probably even in, in industries, so definitely mechanical engineers has to play a vital role from starting to ending. Even though even though if you want to manufacture a product, even if you want to finalize the product, definitely mechanical engineers has to play a key role. Okay. So next one is first uh, first one. Let us see some considerations. That is product design and development. Okay. So again we can see the word design. So if you want to 
design the product and develop it definitely mechanical engineering has to play a key role okay let us see from consumer goods to industrial machinery okay from starting point to ending so so basic point onwards mechanical engineering is going to play a key role to industrial machinery they design and develop new products if you want to develop very very new products updated products everything again you have to design and design only and systems to ensure functional efficient safe and aesthetically fair that is up to the last last stage from starting point to last stage or up to last stage each and everything each and every scenario has to has to be designed by, by mechanical engineer only that's the first one second consideration is manufacturing and production okay so manufacturing and production means in manufacturing and production so here also optimization that means if you want to uh, improve the uh, product rate production rate definitely we need to have optimization techniques in the help of optimization techniques we are going to increase the rate of the productivity in such scenarios mechanical engineer plays a key role here not only for designing and developing for optimization also he is needful okay optimization production lies under ensuring quality control so after uh, producing the product definitely he has to check the quality if the quality is good okay it is going to release in the market if the quality is not at all good then what he has to do is again he has to change from starting stage onwards that is design only again he has to develop so all such kind of things has to be seen by him only that is the role of a mechanical engineer next one is energy and sustainability see the energy and sustainability whatever the energy we are going to deliver that has to be stored in some place in such scenarios again engineers has to play a key role that is all that to a mechanical engineer and sustainability see a design system that reduce energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions contributing to a greener and more sustainable future so if we want to deliver a product definitely there are so many considerations to be kept in mind after delivering the product there are some by products that is going to release into the uh, environment in same in such scenarios the whatever the pollution has to be is getting increased that means that has to get lowered that has to be planned by a mechanical engineer only okay so greenhouse gas emissions that is liberating of co2 that has to get lowered that should be planned by again mechanical engineer only okay see the fourth condition aerospace and transportation okay aerospace and transportation so here also for aerospace and transportation so transportation means already we people know how the vehicles are moving nowadays so if there is a breakdown of vehicle for suppose definitely we are not going to meet our daily needs so for transportation mechanical engineer plays a key role that means um, each and every vehicle has to operate properly means because of by him only what the whatever the design we are going to see in the vehicles also is operated by him only so for transportation he is going to play a very very important role and in aerospace sector most probably 90% of the mechanical engineer plays a key role in aerospace sector if the flight has to take take off or it has to get land so everything from landing gear almost to the design of flight everything will be taken care by mechanical engineer only that is the role of mechanical engineer in different sectors and probably in industrial society he is going to play a vital role next one robotics and automation so automation sector means in production generally we will see the automatic product, automation where the humor is not involved here and everything machinery has to be done itself only in such scenarios also automation plays a key role and also robotics already we have discussed in the previous session how robots are going to play a key role and robotic arms so if you see some of the videos definitely robotics in the with the help of robotics a car is getting manufactured within the less time or other is if there is a human involved involved definitely is going to take more and also the human errors are very high when compared to the machinery the machines are going to operate in a precise one so in such scenarios also robots and automation plays a key role okay so this is the these are the uh, role of a mechanical engineer how he is going to operate in industrial society and these are the considerations we have to keep in mind uh, in each and every sector how he has to um, how he is going to play a key role for the society okay thank you and uh, in the lecture like uh, in the next lecture we are going we can discuss the topic about uh, energy sector